Hello everybody, welcome to the Old Golden Black and it's nice to be back after the international break. What a terrible and boring couple of weeks it's been without the Wolves and particularly in the Premier League it's been very difficult to take my mind off thinking about the Wolves but it's finally back and the first home game since uh, the Man City game nearly three weeks ago now. The only concern for me really over the international break is that perhaps some of the momentum that we'd built up in those first couple of weeks has, may have been lost But and Burnley as well with their torrid start to the season and they had been dumped out of the Europa League I think it might have given them a little bit of a chance to regroup and have a little bit of a pre-season almost in the couple of weeks that we haven't had any football but I'm not really concerned about that I trust Nuno and I think we've had the majority of the first team squad staying at Compton anyway from what I've seen of Burnley so far this season which is not a lot in all honesty uh, but they're quite defensively minded they're quite well organised under Sean Dyche as well and difficult to break down and we've seen Wolves teams struggle in the past against teams like that who've come to get a point um, so hopefully Wolves can be patient in their build-up and we can take the chances the couple of key words the buzzwords from the first couple of weeks of the season has been being clinical and being ruthless and taking those chances those half chances that have come our way the game against West Ham was a perfect example of that really we should have been far away out of sight in that game but we just couldn't finish those chances uh, until the very very last minute which um, of course was a fantastic end to the game. There are a couple of injury concerns for Burnley as well. Ben Gibson and Stephen Ward are undergoing fitness checks. So imagine their second choice left back facing up against Troy Ore in the last 20 minutes. It's something to whet the appetite a little bit there. Um, as for Wolves, uh, there's a little bit of a injury doubt about Jimenez. He picked up a bit of a knock out for Mexico in the uh, in the international break there. He did score a penalty, so his confidence will be boosted a little bit by that after his miss against West Ham. He'll be eager to atone for that on Sunday. Um, Ivan Cavalero as well is still not available. Um, it's unclear as to when he will be back, but we've we've become used to that a little bit as Wolves fans now. Uh, the medical staff don't broadcast how long players are out for or what their injuries are, which is fair enough, and it worked well last season. We had very few soft tissue injuries, which if you remember under Tony Daly's medical reign we had an awful lot of hamstring tears and strains and calf strains and stuff like that as the season wore on and we didn't have any sort of injuries like that so so I've no doubt that Jimenez has been treated in the right way and, and likewise with Cavaliero as so for the team for Wolves on Sunday it's going to be the same team that we've seen almost every game uh, Patricio in goal Cody Bolly Bennett in defence with Johnny and Doherty as the wing backs Moutinho and Neves in the centre midfield and then uh, Costa Jota and then Jimenez up front if he's fit. If he's not, I think that Nuno will go for Bonatini. Let me know in the comments down below because I know that this is the topic for debate. That front three, Jota has not been performing as we probably expected him to. I think lots of us were hoping that he would come into the Premier League and really take the division by storm. He's taken a little bit of time to grow into it. Perhaps this international break and being the captain of the Portuguese under-21s would have boosted his confidence a little bit. I think he's a big confidence player, Jota, and I think he's he just needs that real boost for him now going forward and hopefully he will come back refreshed and a different player than we saw at the West Ham game because he didn't look great um, but yeah let me know in the comments down below about who you think will start in the front three because that's the topic for discussion really uh, would you start Traore personally I wouldn't I think he's such a good impact player that he should remain that way but also like the video subscribe to the channel for more Wolves content over the next couple of weeks it's great to be back and talking about the Wolves after what felt like forever since the West Ham game. I've done uh, back at school as well and normal life has resumed. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. That is simply, simply stunning. Yeah. Sensational. Wonderful. Incredible. There are no words to describe what Ruben Neves has just done.